Cheers! <laughs> Today I'm going to make something that a lot of people, uh, a lot of people would really enjoy but probably think that it's not going to be good, but it's amazing. We're going to make a cauliflower crust pizza. I don't know if it's really a pizza, so I'm doing the air quotes. So it's a super easy recipe I found actually in like, you know, when they send you those things from your health insurance and the little booklets you're supposed to read. Well, one day in there was this recipe for this low carb, you know, if you have to cut out gluten and all that um, recipe. And I have used this multiple times and we really like it. So the way we start this is with about a half a head of uh, cauliflower, which I have cut into chunks. Um, you know, the thing is, this was a really big head of cauliflower, so they don't really say how big, but anyway, this is what we're going to do. So, um, I've kind of cut these, instead of them being gigantic florets, I've cut them into smaller pieces, um, just because I want it to, uh, chop up well. So we're going to put this into our food processor. Um, I suppose if you don't have a food processor, you could just get your knife out and chop it into little bits. Yep. Um, I mean, I have done stuff before in like Hawaii where we didn't have all of the things we needed. You just, you know, MacGyver or MacGruber it. Okay, so I'm just gonna, we've only used this like three times. This is our new one. One. <laughs> I can figure it out. Um, I'm gonna pulse this and get it to uh, turn into fine. This is gonna be fine. It's much different than our old one. It's kind of like a little rice size. I want to be chunky. And then once this is done, we're gonna steam this. I think that's fine. I that's really? Think it's what fine do you see over there? Yeah. Okay. Let me look. I don't know how to use this anymore. Okay. Where's my? I have a spatula out. Let's see. Oh yeah, totally. I don't want to turn it into a paste or anything. No, that's perfect. Okay. That. I always, I'm really careful about unplugging the food processor when I'm doing stuff with it. So I'm going to put this in my well-loved pot here, put it here with a steamer basket in it. I put a little bit of water in the bottom if you've never steamed anything. These things are like, you know, a five, buck. six bucks. No. They're not, what'd you say? I said a buck. It could be in a thrift store. Yeah, you could. I'm sure um, you could find them. I actually just bought this one because we we were using the other one so much it was getting worn out. No, I, I used it for crab. Crab and, and then bent the little crab things. Crab got stuck all over it. So now there's one that's for crab. So we're going to try to put all this in here. This is kind of weird, and it, but it does stay pretty good in the basket, believe it or not. So I'm going to put this in here. Then I'm going to put this on. Oops, jeez. Look, I'm the messy one. Usually Matthew's the one that makes a big mess. Either way, I clean it up. Okay. There we go. All right, so I'm gonna steam this. My recipe says 15 minutes, but this is really, I don't see how it's 15 minutes. I typically steam like whole florets for like 10 minutes, so it's crazy. So I'm gonna put this uh, over here on the stove and steam that. And then we're gonna come back and I'll show you what we're gonna do next. Okay, so um, you know what? It really only took like 10 minutes of steaming this. I kind of like turned it on, let the water heat up underneath the boil a little bit and did it for maybe 10 minutes. And then I turned off the heat and let it continue to steam a little. But yeah, this is totally done. It's so small, it doesn't need to be long. So uh, now we're gonna move this to, uh, I got a couple layers of paper towels here. Honestly, I hate using paper towels because I really hate to uh, put that into the landfill, but we're doing it because I don't think an actual towel would be a really very good idea. So I'm just gonna scoop this all out here. And now what this needs to do is sit and cool and get that moisture. I gotta go this way. Whoop. Get the moisture out of that. And it's amazing, but really none of that cauliflower went through into the water. This basket held it pretty good. Okay. I'm just gonna spread this out a little bit here. 
and I'm gonna let it sit here and cool and uh, mush out as much moisture as I can. And I'm gonna go watch a stupid reality show while this, <laughs> while this happens and drink my martini because I can. So we'll just let that do its thing right there for a little while. What? <laughs> and we'll be back later with what we do for next. What we do for next. Hey, so I've been kind of busy doing a couple things, getting ready for toppings for pizza. There's some stuff going on over here. <laughs> so I sliced up a few mushrooms and then saute them because, you know, we want them to be not raw. And then now I have a little bit of onions that I've sliced super thin. I'm gonna throw them over here in the sizzling butter to make some uh, caramelized onions to go on our uh, pizza. And any that we might not use, we'll just go in omelets in the morning. So these, I kinda, kinda wish I'd used oil instead of butter, but I'm just gonna cook these until they're like a nice golden, on a little bit less than medium heat. I want them to take their time to cook and get really soft. It's a lovely thing to put on your pizza. So let's put in what I've been doing. Um, we're going to be using some, here, see here's our stuff. We're not done with that yet. Um, no, we got some toppings going on here. I guess we could move on to this part. Let's come back in a minute. I need to figure out a bowl and everything for this. Okay. Don't rush me. Okay, so, um, you know, part of what we do when we make a pizza at home is, like, what do we have? So, we have some uh, sausage that we picked up at Taylor Sausage. So, if you're ever uh, in Cave Junction, Oregon, <laughs> which we've had to pass through there a couple times recently to get to Washington, uh, stop there. They have so many great things. And uh, we bought some sausage in bulk instead of their pre-packaged stuff, and it's like two bucks a pound cheaper to do it. So this is actually some breakfast sausage, but you know, who cares, it's good stuff. So I'm just gonna fry a little of this up because we don't really want it to be um, raw mm -hmm. when we bake it. So I'm just pre-cooking everything I need to pre-cook. I did the, um, I did the, uh, hold on. Oh, I did the caramelized onions. They're almost caramelized, they're good. They're gonna bake some. And I did the sauteed mushroom. Boom. Those are cremini, I believe. And now we're just gonna cook this up so that it's a little, you can use any kind of sausage, chorizo, whatever you like. Just be creative with your um, topping on the pizza. So this is just, see how like, I, when we bought it in bulk, I, I froze it like this in little patties for breakfast. This is just the best sausage ever. So I'm just gonna briefly do that. And we're gonna get back to the crust in a minute, I promise. Okay. Here we go. Uh, by the way, did you notice that I'm wearing a tie-dye shirt because Matthew always wears a tie-dye shirt? Well, not always. Hawaiian shirts sometimes do, but I'm wearing one of his, his shirts. So here we go. We're going to um, make the crust part now. So we have... No, our, no, no. What? You're gonna mix. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, I have had one vodka. Just saying. It's an egg. Here we go, one egg. Thank you for being my supervisor. <laughs> Oops, I hate when that happens. Those eggs are the worst for that. Go away. Okay, one egg, a half a cup of Italian shredded cheese. We have um, Parmesan because I just buy the big containers of Parmesan. And then a quarter cup of chopped parsley, which I tell you what, grow parsley in your yard if you can. It might be a little more than a quarter cup, but you know, real cooks don't measure. And we are real cooks. 
And then uh, my recipe calls for a teaspoon of chopped garlic, but a teaspoon to me means two tablespoons. If you don't like garlic, you know, or you can't eat it for some reason, because there's people who can't, skip it. Okay, salt and pepper to taste. So I'm just gonna use a few bits of that. I'm gonna use some black pepper. I like plenty. Do that. I'm gonna whisk this up a little bit. So I'm gonna get this all kind of combined before I add the cauliflower. This is one of those things that's flavorful and pretty. And you know, I think even cauliflower haters are gonna like this one. Because you know they are out there. Okay, now I'm going to. <laughs> gosh <laughs> I, I always manage okay but Matthew keeps a good eye on me as well he should okay I'm gonna combine this now Let's see what we get I want to get that egg in there that's really going to be the binder that and the cheese is what's going to hold this whole thing together it's probably more cauliflower than something it'll be fine when we put uh, mozzarella on this when we make our pizza it's going to just make it all stick be so good. My stomach's growling. I'm hungry. Let's eat. I know. It's not time yet. I don't know about you guys, but we always try to time our dinner to be six o'clock. I don't know. It's just something we've always done. I'm usually hungry long before that, but okay. So there we have it. Now, next step is putting this on a, uh, a sheet somehow. It's not gonna run, so we're just using this, this kind of funky sheet that we have with parchment paper on there. This is it's sticking a lot, but it'll be fine. Okay, I'm just going to put this out here in a pile and then shape it into my pizza shape. You can make that any shape. You could make it round, you could make it square. Okay. Little stuff. And you know, you can make your own thickness how you want it to be. We're just gonna split this, so. I've always thought this would be a really good appetizer. We might have to do something like this for Mr. Cook's birthday coming up pretty soon. And then we're going to um, bake this for, uh, what did I say, is it 10 minutes? Yeah, that looks great. At 450, look at that. Let me tell you exactly, it's a... Uh... Where'd it go? Um, 15 minutes, 15 minutes, lightly browned, 15 minutes. So that cheese is gonna really give it the nice brownness. Look how beautiful that is. So we're gonna come back, because we're not ready to do this part yet. Because six o'clock is our deadline. Stay tuned. Hey, so the oven just be the beep beep, be the beep beep, that it's 450. I'm gonna put this in. So Matthew pointed out that I picked this tray when we usually we use a, a little darker one. This, I don't know how it's gonna work. This is one that's got like the air bumps underneath it, but we're just gonna put it in here at 450 until it's a uh, golden brown. There it goes. I'm gonna set the timer just to be sure for 15 minutes. 
We'll check back. Okay, the um, timer went off. It's been a little, a little bit more than the uh, what was it, 15 minutes. But look at this, it looks perfect. It's a little perfect. I think you gave it an extra five. Yeah, I just want to make sure to see how beautiful and golden brown that is. Yeah, it's got some, oh, it's crispy. Yeah, yep, and it's, it's going to cook for 10 more minutes, so it'll be great. So now we're going to do our thing to make the pizza based on what we have in the house. Mm, so pesto. we have some homemade, um, here's my, uh, si my trusty assistant. We have some... Um, it's basil mac nut. Basil mac nut pesto yeah. that we pulled out of the freezer, which we've made. Yeah, mac yeah something's good. Let me help you. Here, right here. It's not going to be that hot, but yeah. We're going to spread this around. So. I, I, I need uh, the other one. You're fine. No, I need the other one. Okay. There we go. There we go. Okay. We're going to use like this much. Because, you know, who doesn't love pesto? Well, pesto is really good. People on don't own. like pesto. I don't what? They cannot be my friend if they don't like it. So. Well, it's got a lot of garlic, so. It's garlic, garlic and a lot of. This one is ba basil. You can make pesto out of um, cilantro, which you're going to do soon because we have a bunch in the refrigerator. And then there's all the people who don't like mac nuts. <laughs> Weirdos. They're weird people. Okay. About got it. The rest of this pesto is going to go in omelets. Okay, you happy oh, with that, Mr. Really Cook? It's really good, doesn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Okay, hey. and then we're going to put I think some you need the mozzarella. Mozzarella. Because cheese is important. We're not going to use too much because um, it's just really thin and we want everything to cook kind of evenly. Somehow I just had this like, now I feel like I need to talk like, you're your child. Oh, we're going to put on. Oh, well, where's your slosh of wine for the chef? Oh, oh, over here. A little slosh of wine. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. There you go. It's here. Okay. Okay. What's next? <laughs> but seriously, folks. Um, <sighs> I'm thinking maybe fine. sausage. We have onions, sausage, mm -hmm. mushrooms. Uh, roasted garlic. Roasted garlic. Okay. I think I'm gonna go with these too. Dot this a little bit with some sure. sausage. And I want to scramble some of these on here. All these flavors are gonna just marry really well. And totally just come up with your own crazy things to put on a pizza. Tomatoes, if you like those. Um, just stick through your freezer, your refrigerator like asparagus or broccoli. It doesn't matter. All things are good. But we just try not to make it too super thick with things. That's the thing. I don't think, I, I don't think um, we can put on all of any of these things, but no, I we have so. other uses. For them. Yeah. Here's some, do you want to do some mushrooms? Sure. I, I, pre, I don't know if I already said this. I pre-saute these a little bit because... We don't want them to be raw. If you don't like mushrooms, don't put them on your pizza. Oh, I, but I really like mushrooms. So. Okay, that's and good. then the roasted and garlic. The roasted garlic. We're just gonna. And that is, that's really something right there. That's gonna be great on here. It's kind of so good. It ends up being surprisingly sweet. Yep. And it's not spicy at all. Caramelized. There's a lot of garlic in this whole thing. Is that even? I can't tell. You're shading see, us a little bit. I don't see much over there. There you go. That's better. But, um, yeah, and then let's put some of those. So. Uh, now we're going to go weird. Kelly said, you know, put tomatoes on. So one thing I've noticed in my life is that sometimes when tomatoes are called for, something like strawberry serves the purpose just as well. So that's what we're gonna do. So let's put some uh, strawberry slices on here. So today, because it's uh, April 30th, this is a time of um, year when strawberries start being super cheap at the store. So we've got this beautiful, gigantic package of strawberries for 98 cents today. So these are gonna add the sweet, the sweet, maybe a little and, tangy thing. Yeah, it's gonna have a little tang to it. Yeah, why not? It's I mean, like, we've had pizza before with strawberries at yeah. a music festival. So, so the 
the purpose that tomatoes would provide right now is acid. Strawberries yep. are giving us the same thing, and it's going to make this just yep. super delicious. Okay. And now you're going to oh. put it. Shoot, I turned it off though. <laughs> what was I thinking? It's fine. Oh. We'll, we'll be back. I'm going to call this pizza. I've been um, watching it, and it's really golden. I'm going to turn this off. Oh, oh. oh it's better to use two. Look at that. So the strawberries, look at it, it's bubbling everywhere. Yeah. Everything is golden and bubbly. I think it's good. So I'm gonna let that sit for a minute. And then we're gonna, we're gonna slice that up and mm. eat some of that. We'll come back for that part. Okay. So this did come out a little bit mushier than we usually like, but Whoa, look at the stretch. Is, what's, is that what you call that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, look at that. So this came out lovely. We're just going to split this whole thing because I'm going to eat it with a fork. But yeah, I do think putting cooking this on another, like even a skillet of something would be good. Wow, that's a lot. Let's do it. It is a lot. But I'm hungry. I'm going to eat the whole thing. This one, this goes over there. And then this one. Ouch, it's hot. Ooh, that's beautiful. It's a very Italiano. Yeah. Muy bueno. <laughs> Close. <laughs> bueno? <laughs> Who's your Italian teacher? Oh, yeah. I didn't have one. <laughs> This is beautiful though. It's gonna be so delicious. We're gonna sit and watch some kind of John Lennon, Yoko Ono documentary and enjoy our pizza. So, so there you have it. That's your cauliflower crust experience with the two cooks in the kitchen. Oh, uh, I'll take a bite. Just so, this part right here looks good. So. Mm hmm. Nice peach. Um, <laughs> stop that. Don't do that. Back up. So, um, this is a kind of sort of healthy way to eat pizza. I don't do well with a bunch of bread, although I love it. So, thank you for watching Two Cooks in the Kitchen. And remember to subscribe somewhere down there. You're supposed to do that so that you can um, get notifications when we have new videos, which we put out every week so far for two years. On Tuesday. On Tuesday. So thank you again. We'll see you next time.